In today's YouTube video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite ways to beat the meta. And really specifically, we're going to be talking about man coverage. But this will also do a really, really, really good job um, against zone coverage as well. And I'm really excited to share this uh, this tip and this concept with you uh, because I think it's going to make trips tied in a thousand times better in my personal opinion. I think that when you can learn how to use this play really well, uh, this formation becomes really, really powerful. Now, if you want to learn more about the trips tied in, I would really encourage you to uh, join my Patreon page. I'm going to put a link to that in the description uh, down below. For just 10 bucks, you'll be able to get access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. I've got trips tied in. We've got about 17 different offensive and defensive ebooks available to you guys, and you get access to all of them by being a Patreon member. So if you want to sign up for that, uh, you can head down to the description below and click the link uh, down in the description. Uh, so the play we're talking about today, I'm in New England, but you can find this play in both New England and Detroit. Um, it's PA shot wheel in New England. I think in Detroit it's PA shot post. Uh, but this this concept, you're just looking for this play. It has this uh, little wheel route, it has the S post, and then it has a crosser. This play is really, really powerful, and I uh, want to break it down for you in this video, especially as to how it's going to do against the meta, and it's going to give you something really interesting. So what we're going to do, the setup for this play, uh, is actually fairly simple. All we're going to do um, with this play is we're going to streak our tight end, and we're going to streak our outside trips receiver. Now, you can, if you want to, put this outside trips receiver. You could put him on a slant if you want to do that, okay? Um, all you really need is this um, streak to the tight end, and then whatever you want to do with the outside trips receiver. So I'm going to motion him across, but what I want you to watch is this wheel route to circle. Uh, what you'll see here is if I throw this, you'll see that there's a natural pick and a natural rub that is going to occur that is going to allow me to then quickly throw the flat of the, the flat portion of this wheel. So you're going to see here, if you look at this animation, you'll see as soon as the ball snaps, this guy, this, this DB, he takes a step back. As soon as I see that, I'm already trying to get the ball out of my hands because I want to throw it over in this window and we want to get out there and we want to be able to run after the catch. This is a really, really great man-beating concept for plays like uh, cover one. This is also really, really good for cover zero. So um, if there's any kind of cover zero coverage, if, if, and they can, again, they can press or not press, and you're still going to see the same basic interaction. Um, so you'll see right here, again, here's cover zero. I see right off rip that I'm not, you know, he's not kind of shading underneath. And I can throw the ball instantly to that flat. And weak a lot of times will actually break that tackle. Here I'm going to go ahead and just put hard flats out there just to kind of show you uh, what it might look like. And we're not going to press. I will say it is defended a little bit better if they're not jamming. Because uh, you're going to you're not going to get a natural rub. But you should see, again, still this quick throw right there. And then it's going to create that instant tackle battle that can allow you. Now, another thing you can do with this play, um, especially since they fixed, uh, not necessarily fixed, but they improved a lot of the blocking in this game, you can go ahead and block your running back. You don't have to be in play action for this. So uh, what that will do is it just lets you get the ball out quicker. So you're going to see here I can snap, throw the flat, Get out there, and I'm getting about seven, eight yards a pop, and that's a very simple way to attack man coverage, and they have to adjust to this. Now, the adjustment that they're going to make to this wheel route is they're going to want to shade underneath. So I'm just going to shade underneath here, and what you're going to notice is if I try to throw this wheel route off of the snap, like I was doing previously, you're going to see that this corner is going to lurk underneath, so he runs right with him, and it could be a potential interception if I was to throw that. You see the difference in the interaction. They're not going to take that little step backwards. They're going to actually run with that wheel route off of the snap. So what this means, though, is there is a window over the top that we can throw, and it's actually a really, really um, specific animation. So you're going to see here, I'm going to, as soon as I see that, I'm going to freeform up and over, the, basically up and out, um, or to get this over shoulder, over shoulder grab. Let me show you what this looks like. This, I think, is a huge deal. Um, the wheel routes in Bunch and the wheel routes in, in U-Trips, from my experience, they, they may be a little better at beating man off coverage man than this one is, but they're definitely not better at beating uh, shaded underneath. And this is going to give you a really big opportunity. So you're going to see here that he's shaded underneath. Now, this because of the way that this is going to turn up field, now I have this little window 
over the top, you see how I have a step on him? I have a step on him over the top. So if I put the ball over here, he's going to get this little basket catch animation. And it's actually, this guy, let's say he has deep route KO. Yeah, you might be able to stop it if he has deep route KO. Other than that, this is going to be a pretty consistent read for you against Shaded Underneath Man. Okay, not to mention uh, you have a lot of other stuff going your way uh, with the way that this tight end is going to work, uh, which I'll cover that in just a second. But again, I just want to show you shaded underneath man. You're going to see this is fairly consistent. I'm just going to freeform up and outside. You see he gets that little catch animation. So I'm freeforming and I'm highballing it. The reason I'm freeforming this instead of just highballing this up and outside is because you need that little extra pass lead that you're going to get from freeform to put this ball where you want it to go. Um, you'll see here again, just get that over the shoulder where only he can catch it. They might get a drop animation uh, like that, but I will say, generally speaking, when I freeform this and I put it in the right position, this is very hard to stop. Now, this is an example. If I just highball it, you see there, that happens a lot. Because with high ball, I notice that you can't necessarily pass lead outside and inside as much as you can if you free form it. So just please keep that in mind as you as you run um, as you uh, you know do this. Here you see he cooks him. So we right there. I've got to get and again that's an example. I've got to get that up and out. Okay, it's really important that you lead that receiver up and outside. If you had to choose one, at least lead him upfield. Uh, but you've got to get the ball out and over the top of him. Um, if you get that animation right there, it's not good. Um, but if you can get the animation I was showing in the beginning where we're getting that little free form up and over the top, this becomes one of the best plays against cover zero. And there Brady had a little wind up. But you see the idea. You're going to get one-on-one -on -one with over shoulder. You're trying to basically get this over shoulder catch. And then it's going to also open up some other stuff, which we're going to cover in just a second. But I do want to, again, illustrate just that free form. There it is, up and out. You see how he gets that little, little catch. You don't want to click onto the receiver. You want the computer to automatically give you that that uh, catch you might want to hold y um just to kind of get it you know make sure that the aggressive catch animation is what's going to trigger here you know but again just up and out and you see you don't want to do that see i clicked on and it triggers that animation so that's kind of the idea so anyways that is a really really good concept for a man i'm going to cover how to use this route against zone here in just a second as well um the rest of the routes on the play are just good routes against man and zone um, this tight end route, the other thing that I want to go over, uh, let's say that they, you know, let's say that they, for example, um, and I don't know what they're going to do, but let's just say that they try to like, just trust the fact that this tight end is going to be covered. Uh, this tight end streak is, especially if you have a little bit of a faster tight end, um, is going to be pretty effective because they're going to shade underneath and they're going to come down. And then you see how I have wide open my tight end over the top. So, you know, you're going to have that. They're going to have to have safety help there. Um, if they do have safety help there, uh, again, the solution of stopping the wheel, by the way, is kind of the same basic thing. If they put a safety into that window, which actually is a pretty hard uh, place for the safety to get uh, with just where this ball is going to be thrown. You see right there the safety's in the area, so it's going to be hard to catch that. But uh, what I wanted to show you is once they do those, those adjustments – now there's the whole middle of the field uh, to be able to work, and that's where the slant and this crosser comes in. If you have slot apprentice, you can turn that into a post route if you want it a little something a little sh something sharper. But both of these routes should be pretty good for you against man and zone because um, you have a clear out streak for the crosser, and then your wheel route is going to serve as a really good clear out route uh, as well for your slant route. So you have a lot in this play, and I've just noticed that. Shaded down man's not going to do a great job at stopping the slant, even though Tom Brady just threw the slant about 30 yards over what it should have been. So I want to spend the last couple of minutes here with you guys talking about this play against zone, exactly the same setup. A lot of people are going to be playing hard flats this year. That's just kind of the way that zone is played. You're going to see here that this, um, this route to Godwin can actually be pretty good, um, especially against cover uh, three. But I'll show you this against cover uh, four as well. 
And again, all you're going to do is like, you're going to look out here. Oh, there's a cloud. I'm going to free form over the cloud and kind of put it in that little window. Now, the other thing is you have the cross or you have the slant. Those are very clear and very good reads against zone. If you wanted this to be a little better read against zone for you, what you can do is just simply do a streak. You know, so maybe do something like this. This streak will clear out the deep zones. And then now there's this massive opening that is going to be very difficult for them to guard. The really the only coverage that they can call that is going to guard this is they have to put a curl flat on the field. And I will say most people don't do that. And also, even if they do in this year's game, just the way zones play, the curl flat is very susceptible to getting burned, as you can see. And I put match on and all that stuff. It's hard to cover these wheels this year uh, in zones specifically. Okay, um, also just want to quickly cover the fact that this crosser um, is a really good crosser. It's going to get pretty deep down the field, uh, and you're going to be able to either hit that slant or you see right here. Um, this is why you want to run your trips to the wide side of the field when you're utilizing this specific concept because when this, guy, uh, when this streak is a clear-out streak and you have your trips to the wide side of the field, cover three is not going to play this crosser. That tight end will clear it out. You saw him running wide open there, and then you also have the slant backside. So there's a lot of value in this play. This play is also incredibly effective. Um, again, any blitz, specifically cover zero blitz, this is really good um, because there's just so many holes in the coverage. Uh, and again, you see here just free form outside. A lot of times that will happen right there where you're going to get an instant tackle battle, and you see how effective this is. So Anyways, uh, that is PA Shot Wheel, one of my favorite plays in the last couple days that I've been running out of trips tied in. If you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook and learn everything that I do, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. It'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description down below, and uh, we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.